Just like screening back the image allows for more readability of text, so does screening back the text itself. Again, we will specifically avoid talking about type and vector art as much as possible until lesson 18, but in this example, we need to use text to perform this fun adjustment layers technique. The steps we will follow for screening back type include, first, open an image and add text using the type tool. It is important to choose the typeface, size, and placement you want in the finished design. The color, though, doesn't matter. You can make these decisions via the options bar at the top of the screen. Next, make a selection of your text by either using Control or Command and then clicking the T icon on your type layer. And so if you're on a PC, you'll Control click the T icon, and if you're on a Mac, you will Command click the T icon. Then hide your original type layer by clicking on the little eyeball to the left of the layer. You don't want to see it anymore. Next, select the background image. Make sure that your, your text selection, your marching ants marquee, is still active. And then we will apply a levels adjustment to the layer. When the levels adjustment has been applied, use the properties panel to move the midtone slider left and right until you achieve the contrast value that you're looking for. So I like to lower the, the contrast and I want it to screen back. And so I will move the slider to the left. In this example, I would like to create a watermark type look for the word Paris. I have formatted the text to the size and typeface I want. The green color doesn't matter. We won't see it when we're done. After making the text an active selection, which I did by Control or Command clicking the T icon on the type layer, I hid the type layer by clicking the little eyeball next to the left side of the layer. You can see it's hid here. Now my text is loaded as an active selection, but I can't see the original green text, and that is exactly what I want. With the image layer selected, in my case it is the background layer, I can apply a levels adjustment layer via the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. To create contrast in the image, I need to adjust the midtone values. Moving the midtone slider to the left or right will lighten or darken that area of the image. In my example, I took the midtone slider and I slid it to the left. You can see from this screenshot that a new layer mask was automatically created on my adjustment layer because I had an active selection when I created it. Then when I made an adjustment or a levels adjustment, it only applied to the active area of the layer mask and I was able to lower the levels in just the area that says Paris. And one of the benefits of this technique is that you can use the image itself to help create the contrast that will allow you to read the word Paris. And so you can see straight through everywhere I put the word Paris, you're seeing the original image behind it, but you're seeing a lower saturated version of it. And so you're seeing kind of a desaturated, um, less contrasty version.